Hey guys, Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Welcome to Monday Minute Meals. We are having an absolute blast tonight with our Weber kettle. And I'll tell you what, I'm super excited because uh, I'm gonna teach you how to love vegetables. Your mom said you need to eat your veggies. She said, make sure you eat your veggies. And we're gonna help you do it. But check this out. Don't tell mom we're cheating because we're gonna wrap them with bacon, which is gonna be absolutely fantastic. And everyone in your house is gonna say, you know what, I love vegetables. Ingredient wise today, really, really easy. We've got uh, Rub-A-Dub, which is gonna give us that all around flavorful seasoning. A Little bit of fire honey, which is gonna bring out the sweetness in the carrots. Bacon, because <laughs> bacon. Uh, and then we have two pounds of baby carrots, which is gonna be about two bunches. We went with fresh today. So let's dig in, let's get our prep work finished. Carrot prep time, super easy. Now, one of the things that's gonna save us some time, I'm not going to peel my carrots. The best flavor is on that peel. We're gonna wash them real good, but we're definitely not gonna peel them because I want you to taste the amazing beauty of carrots. Now, we'll go ahead and trim that top off at an angle. We're gonna trim the bottom off, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get all these carrots prepped up nice and easy, super fast, and then we're gonna blanch them in a little bit of boiling water before we shock them in ice water. All right, time to blanch the carrots. Now, blanching is basically par cooking, right? We're gonna partially cook these, soften them up a little bit. Helps us with wrapping them in the, uh, in the bacon and making sure they cook fast enough. So, I'll go ahead and add these guys carefully into the water. And today, we're gonna cook more by feel. However, if you wanna track uh, time, it'll be about five to seven minutes. But we're gonna give these guys a little pinch, wait for them to get nice and soft. Then, we'll get the ice bath ready, shock time. Done. Five minutes, we are blanched. So here's what I'm doing. Look at this. You guys, look at that. Super squishy, right? Soft, it's got a good bend to it. We are set. Now, we're gonna go carefully into the ice water. Get these guys all shocked, and then we are gonna get them seasoned up, wrapped in bacon. Doesn't get much better, tastier, and more flavorful than that. All right, carefully push these guys down. We're just trying to stop that cooking process. That is all we're doing here. So, we pull them out. This is what I love, because I love carrots. Look at how bright, beautiful orange they are, right? That is amazing, and that's one of the reasons I totally love carrots. So, we'll get this finished up, come back, season them up. Time has come to wrap, right? We're gonna season our carrots off light oil, just a tiny bit. All we're trying to do is help that seasoning stick. We'll give them a roll here, get everything kind of on its way, and then a light seasoning of a little bit of rub-a-dub, just to give them that overall kind of salt, pepper, garlic happiness, right? Now, I went ahead and cut the bacon in half. So I cut each piece in half. I'm gonna give it a little stretch here. Give this a little tug, a little pull. Now, wrap that carrot up, get it all set and ready to go. And then I'll give it a nice little squeeze to kind of force that bacon together just to help it stay together as long as possible. And then it is time to fire up the Weber kettle. If you don't have a Weber kettle, don't worry about it. Head up to the top here. We've got some other great options for you as well to help you make some simply amazing vegetables that everyone will love. Lighten the grill. So we're gonna use our chimney today because we're gonna get this heated up nice and fast. We're gonna go indirect hot and fast today. So we've got the uh, sides opened up and ready to go. Let's get these cubes going. Get these guys all set. Put that chimney down on top of those starter cubes. Let this rock and roll. Now, look at that. That smoke right there, that is the byproduct of the ignition process of charcoal. We're gonna wait till that clears. We'll probably let it get hot and glowing up to here. <laughs> we are set to go. All right, we've got a full chimney now, and we're gonna split it half and half. So I use this handle, use the other handle. We're carefully, carefully gonna pour that in there. We'll switch hands. We'll pour this in as well. We'll be all set and ready to go. Let's get these guys added on here. We'll get it seared off nice and hot and fast. We'll hold that bacon together finish these guys off. That's it, quick and painless. All right, five minutes in, let us get these guys flipped and ready to go. So basically all I'm gonna do, rotate them, and now I'm gonna cook them until that bacon hits that doneness that I like. Then right before we pull them off, we're gonna glaze them real quick with fire honey. All right, time to glaze these guys with honey. So what I'm gonna do, I will drizzle them just a little bit here, right? And then as I drizzle, go ahead and let that honey melt a little bit. I'm going to give these guys about five minutes of time to enjoy a little bit of honey. And then we are in a good place. We'll head in, get these guys all finished up. Life is good. Oh, look at those beauties. Time to get these off. Then we'll get inside the kitchen here, get them all plated up, and maybe uh, maybe just a tiny touch of rub-a-dub over the top of that honey to finish them off. I totally told you 
you will love vegetables. That's right, these carrots came out amazing on the Weber kettle. Beautiful, smoky, and delicious, and sweet from the fire honey. And again, what I said, take that bacon to the doneness level that you like. Look at all these guys plated up. We are set here and dialed in. Now I'm gonna leave that one there for quality control, but I'll add a little bit of rub-a-dub over the top. Just get a little bit of uh, salt, a little finish of seasoning, and then you know a little bit more honey. The cool part about that honey is it will just glide down over all those carrots and you will be set to go. Mom said, eat your vegetables, and these are definitely the vegetables you wanna eat. So. Thanks for joining us for Monday Minute Meals. Next week, be sure to head up and grab the ingredients because we're making the ultimate Monday movie snacks. That's right, ultimate chicken wings. So we'll get in here. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Forgot to drizzle a little honey on my quality control piece. Um, wow, I'm so excited. This is so good. A little bit of honey on there. Pick up a little bit of that seasoning. That right there, that is movie. Mad. Look, at, look, 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 ready? Honey, honey, honey. I mean, does it get, oh, another one. Does it get any better than that? Cheers.